The next thing is we're gonna prepare the main arm tubes okay uh, I just want to describe a little bit of the stuff here because this will save you from doing things over and over again if you look at the arm tubes there's a hole drilled which looks like completely in the center but exactly actually it is not if you look at it from uh, using a foot scale from hole to one edge is three inches okay while other side from hole to edge is more than three inches almost 3.5 okay it's more than three inches so this means this side is shorter from hole to edge this side is shorter in length and from hole to edge one side is longer now keeping that in mind pick up the rocker pieces you have two rocker pieces okay and some screws so pick up the rocker piece and let me zoom in to describe this piece let me hold it this way one side is flat this flat side will be used to install the connecting rod so that the connecting rod has enough space to move all right if you install the connecting rod at this side which is a raised side uh, you will not have much tilting because connecting rod will touch there so remember on the flat surface flatter side of this rocker you will install the connecting rod now at the raised edge which I call belly you will keep the raised edge let me zoom out a little bit here you will keep the raised edge towards the side which is shorter on the arm so from hole to the edge which is the shorter area you're gonna keep the belly or the raised edge of this rocker at the shorter side so let's just slide it on slide it on and make sure to align align this perfectly to the drilled hole on the arm now let's check from this rocker arm which is this piece where we will install the uh, connecting rod from here to edge we have three something inches 3.1 inches okay and from here we have almost 3.2 inches so there isn't much difference now why this is done it's very simple it's because when you install these arms on the plates okay and you will install the connecting rods in this space for now I will just leave the rod here so properly installed and aligned both side left and right your arm should have equal length if there is a little bit difference it does not matter because we can easily do alignment with the arm moving left and right we can see here eye hand coordination very quickly with the foot scale that we have almost the same length So from here to here and here to here almost the same so as I mentioned we can do the alignment later but this is this is how these pieces are designed this is why the hole is not completely in the center on these uh, arms so that once perfectly installed or properly installed both sides should have almost the equal length okay I hope this uh, concept is clear if this concept is clear let's go ahead and mount the second rocker piece onto the second arm once again check which side has a shorter area okay and which side has a longer area using the foot scale uh, making sure that the belly of this piece or the edge a raised edge of the rocker arm should stay at towards the shorter area of the arm once done go ahead use our beloved Loctite a little bit and install this screw in okay now that the rocker pieces are set on the arm and the screws are in make sure not to over tighten these screws okay if you slip them then you will be in trouble okay so uh, just tighten them enough you have a Loctite don't worry about it Now it's time we just go ahead and install them onto the plates. So first you will take the lower plate, 
Okay. I hope uh, lighting is enough here. And uh, you have been provided with the plastic arm blocks right here. Now, thing was that I agreed with the factory to give me metal uh, blocks for fitting the arms, but they supplied me plastic. Uh, plastic blocks are okay, but you need to do a little bit filing in order to make sure that the arm uh, tilt or moves inside them smoothly. So don't worry, just keep them aside for future or uh, replacement parts. We have provided you the upgraded metal parts, so you should have eight of them in a separate bag. Now go ahead and use the metal parts because they are properly made and they will make the arms move right. Put two pieces down here and put the arm on top of it and of course remember once again that this rocker piece here, the belly or the raised edge, should stay at one side in order to make sure we have arms coming out left and right at the equal length. Okay, so two pieces go down, two pieces go up, and then comes the top plate. Right now the arm will be moving left and right, okay, sliding left and right, we don't care because later we will lock it with the arm locks. So right now what you need to do is get these longer screws out, they have lock nuts on them, okay, and put them in. Maybe it will be a little bit tighter on the new carbon fiber plates, okay, so just push them in slide one piece up right here get another piece then goes the arm inside remember both sides are equal alright so we are doing it right comes the other piece, other piece, alright, hope you can see it clearly now, arm is nicely set inside and it's rotatable and then comes the lower plate, okay, now you can see, nice and good, so this was very easy, now go ahead and install the lock nuts and tighten the lock nuts. After that, check your arm tilting without any friction, without the sticky movements, stuff like that. If there is some sticky movement, you might want to see uh, if the arm block need some filing or not but normally they are okay they don't need fi filing all you need to do is loosen the screws a little bit and make sure the arm is moving nice and smooth and also make sure the arm don't have play in it so this is how we install the one arm okay we are going to do the same thing on the rear arm and remember once again align and check and make sure which way the arm will sit inside in order to have equal length at left and right and then go ahead and install these arm blocks metal pieces so let's just do it very quick all right pieces are inside now don't make a mistake by adding the screws from this side you have to let the screws go through from the upper plate this thing is very important let the screws go through from the upper plate to the lower plate otherwise you will have much of the screws is sticking out and hard to install the battery. Okay, go ahead and install the lock nuts and tighten them. Now the arms are installed, okay, and uh, you can check though they are sliding, we will lock them, but you can check they should move nice and smooth. And here's the rear arm. Okay, they are tilting nice and smooth. There's a little bit of friction, you're feeling somewhere is a little bit tight. You might want to uh, let them actually, you know, sit inside, push the arm down a little bit, move them forward and backward. Okay, put it upside down, 
move forward and backward and they will actually start moving nice and smooth okay once it's done maybe if you need to do some filing go ahead do it but it, it's not necessary normally your arm have to tilt just this little so that should be enough if it is moving smoothly in this range okay